In this video, I'm going to work a sample problem to show you how to calculate EVA, which stands for Economic Value Added. So EVA is equal to after-tax operating income, which is sometimes called NOPAT, Net Operating Profit After Taxes, minus this whole thing here, the weighted average cost of capital times total assets minus current liabilities. So, okay, we take that whole thing and we subtract it from NOPAT. All right, so that gives us our EVA. So let's get to our sample problem. Let's just pretend that Walmart evaluates its uh, Japan division based on EVA. And so then here are some data for Walmart's uh, Japanese division. So it's got the total assets, total liabilities, current liabilities, operating profit before and after tax, and then the weighted average cost of capital. Now you're not going to need all of this information here. I'm just pre presenting it so we can see what's pertinent. Okay, so if you remember, we've got our formula. We're going to need after tax operating income. So where do we have that here? It's right here. That's $16 million. Okay, after tax. And then we're going to subtract, so we've got the WAC, okay, our weighted average cost of capital is 12% times, and then we've got total assets is 80 million minus current liabilities, not total liabilities, we don't care about total liabilities, current liabilities, which is 50 million, okay? So if we do the math here, so we've got, now we're going to have, this is going to collapse into 30 million. Okay, the total assets minus current liabilities is 30 million. When we multiply that by 12%, the weighted average cost of capital, we get 3.6 million. And then when we subtract the 3.6 million from the 16 million NOPAT, we get 12,400,000, which is our economic value added. 